Oh, and a combos involves two cards. Uh, that's an obvious rank 8 hand. In this example, we'll use Bisking Barbaros, but either of the two works instead of just something that you copy that guy's level. That's the only difference. Uh, normal summon that. Hopefully, it doesn't get bottomless. Special that. Now, this is the OTK. Hopefully, they don't have back row to stop it. But when it comes down to it, you probably do this after you get rid of the back row, like using MST or Draco's Sight. Special Tachyon. Special Dark Matter. Attempt to activate his effect, which has a cost, which is to send three dragons to your grave. Not much of a cost, isn't it? You'll send this one. Hopefully you didn't draw it. If you did, get rid of it by using Raigeki Break or setting it or attacking into their monster or set or uh, hopefully it doesn't get banished. Send the egg. This is the cost by the way. And send any of, any of the dragon rulers, preferably Redux or Tempest, the ones with the lowest attack. If, if the others are banished, just any of the dragon rulers will do, but most of the time let's do Redux this example. Now these two will get their effects when they go to the graveyard after your opponent banishes from their deck because of the his effect on the something does that. So this is the one that's gonna be banished with the close weapon. And blue eyes white dragon will be added to your hand. So this is your banish pile, this is your graveyard, and this is your hand. That's your hand right now. Let's actually put the hand at the bottom so you can see it easier. That is banished. Now you can summon Radox by banishing these two. Now this this one will get its effect to give you red eyes. That should banish this in your hand. If you have trade in, it's even better. But it's OTK regardless. Now you banish Radox, summon Red MD. Use this guy's effect. To attack twice on monsters, up to twice. Attach the number on 97. Now use red ice, to special 107. Banish part is irrelevant at this point. And now you make another dark matter. Now you get his effect again. Now you can send whatever you want at this point, but preferably a blaster. Sure will. And either one of these two, it really depends what's in your hand. If you have like Cars of Consonants, send a Tempest so you can get a Corsica. Uh, or if you want, if you've got like a Barbaros or a Wood Dragon in hand, send Tidal since you can get a Watch Dragon afterwards. And, and you can do it again next turn, the rank 8 play. So, what we will do in this case is just get a little blue eyes and send Tempest. That's your grave. Nice special summon blaster. If you wish, they have more monsters. If they don't, you don't have to touch with this, but it's optional. Since this is over 10,000 damage already. But it all depends on the monsters that they have. Now, if they don't die this turn, they wipe your field. You have plenty of dragons. And now, since you have two dragon rulers in the grave, you got some rank 7 place next turn, which is really good and bad for your opponent <laughs> at the same time. That's one of the combos. This is this one of the standard combos that you can do with this deck. It happens probably 60 to 70% of the games, and that's usually game at that point. Now, it's another combo that we can do. Now, you can do this in any combination as long as you have either this, and you need this, or any level 1 tuners. Let's use the White Stone of Legend for now. And any of the three other Dragon Rulers. Can't do it if it's title in hand, since you need to get the search off this guy. So in this example, let's use Tempest. It's very similar to the other combo, but it requires another card. And you get a destruction effect. And let's use Track and Shrine in this example. If you have another dragon with Tempest as well, you can do it like from the hand or, or something. You can't just do it with Tempest unless you need to send something to the graveyard. It can't be Tempest in hand, so you use Dragon Shrine. You send normal monster, you can send Blue Eyes for example. 
Usually you send blue eyes as the normal monster. Now this is your hand, the bottom part, and this is your grave. So you send blue eyes and tempest. Now that's in your graveyard. And special, the tempest, which will banish the temp, the uh, tidal, and the blue eyes that you've sent to the graveyard. And tidal will get its effect, which will fetch us the water dragon. Now summon any level one tuner. In this case, we have the black, the white stone of legend, not the black stone of legend. And we synchro these two, and get the blue eyes in hand. After you summon this one, it's crappy deep. Now you got these two in hand since you searched that with title, and this is from the White Stone of Legend. And at this point, you can destroy a back row by setting a card, and you scrap dragon to destroy the face down that you've set, uh, destroy it. Yeah, now you can special summon with it, Water Dragon. Then it sees into. Tachyon, when not matter, and the rest of the combo is similar to the last combo that we've done, which is to send one dragon ruler, eclipse wyvern, and any dragon ruler to the graveyard, and then you would get that point. As soon as you make the rank eight, the combo seems very similar. Depends on the place, but if you do have uh, other plays such as Heliopolis to destroy something, you got the blue eyes in hand to pop. Well, that would completely depends if you got the White Stone of Legend, but you see, you you'll see that it's all very similar combos towards the making of a rank eight. Now for the last combo, which is a really cool one, I like. Now this combo is quite useful if you're going first and you have opened Silver's Cry. Right, we're just going to assume that we have done the combo with. The Eclipse Wyvern Red Eyes combo. So we banish Radox and this. And we have banish a random dragon along with that for the Radox. So let's just say the White Stone of Legend. And you've used, I don't know, you got the Blue Eyes and Grave and you straight in to draw cards. And you drew into this, for example. Now, with that in mind. You also need at least one level 1 tuner in the graveyard and it should not be that hard to do it with Dark Matter's effect doing that which is a certain flammable card so with, our, with the Dark Matter's effect we basically just send Eclipse Wyvern and any of the Dragon Rulers and you join to that and something happens to it uh, it's less likely to happen, but this is useful when going first. And you use Silver's Cry to get Blue Eyes back. Let's say it's Corsica. It's just uh, since Flamer Guard might be more useful later. And then use Red Eyes to summon Corsica. That's why I play the Azure Eyes. And you summon him. Right then, your opponent can't do shit to your dragons this turn. It's a really cool combo, I like this one. If you're going first, it's really useful, but it's less consistent as you need to open three cards. However, the draw engine can help you open it quite easily. And you can't detach with this guy if you're going first, so there's no point in doing that combo. And now that this guy gives you a continuous effect, these can't be destroyed by card effects and can't be targeted and they have huge as attacks so it's very unlikely that your opponent will run over them and the next turn you have a choice to summon a blue eyes of dragon from your graveyard which you have used a synchro with for azure eyes with this guy's effect and that's it guys RIP dragon rulers and 10 Days or so, eleven days. I'm not sure, but yeah, They've, it's been a fun trip with these guys. And remember to press F to pay respects to them. 
as we go and enter the next format of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! Thanks for watching guys, it's been a pleasure. Jam here doing my Dragon Ruler Galaxy Eyes Dot Matter deck profile. See you guys soon. Bye bye.